Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Rhinorack Universal Pioneer platform for your crossbars. This is going to be a 58 inch by 47 inch long platform and we'll take a look at how it fits on our 2016 Chevrolet Traverse. This is an interesting pairing with the Chevrolet Traverse, especially with how our roof rack is set. When you have crossbars on there, it's awesome because you have plenty of clearance there from the front and from the for the back for your longer or larger cargo items. The platform rack is designed to just evenly distribute those items where you can place things in areas that you can't put them on crossbars. If you're looking for just carrying around your suitcases or carrying around your kayaks though, you might not be interested in the entire Pioneer platform rack. You might just want crossbars plus a roof box or a roof basket instead. So it really depends on what situation are you gonna be using this for. Hopefully this video helped you out though with taking those measurements and seeing how it's gonna work for whatever you're planning on doing. The Pioneer platform is a very popular platform just because of how it looks really cool but creates a good surface or a good stable foundation for your really cool accessories. You can find the accessories that work with your platform, whether it's your eye stops that allow you to carry cargo or if you want to carry a kayak or a bike rack, things like those. So if you don't have a backbone system that works for your vehicle, like the Chevrolet Traverse, what you can do is you can get crossbars and then put the platform on top of the crossbars. So we'll talk about how that works here on our vehicle. Now this is a heavy platform, so keep that in mind with your actual roof weight capacity since this does weigh 38 pounds. Think about what your roof capacity is for your crossbars too and deduct that from how much you have left over for your cargo. Now this creates a beefy system though, that way you can have things more evenly distributed, you can have your spare tire carriers, your other accessories all around making it easily accessible. What type of crossbars does this work with? Well, this works with your arrow, your factory, your elliptical, your core, your square, your round crossbars. Although with that in mind, I do recommend the arrow bars as probably the best ones for these. This will not work with the square heavy duty crossbars that Rhino Rack has. And if your crossbars are really low to your vehicle, you might not even be able to fit the clamp around, so you do have optional hardware included with this kit that fits into your T-Track system if you want something more low profile. So if you have crossbars that are close to your vehicle, make sure that they have the T-Tracks in there or else just double check to see if the clamp fits around. The clamps slide back and forth depending on your crossbar spread. You can see how we have the rubber underneath as well as two bolts from the top cinching down on it. So this creates a nice stable surface but also makes it easier for you to install. With that black powder coat finish, it's designed to stay on your roof and withstand those elements. You also have those tracks on the inside for your accessories. Although, if you want to tighten things down, you have different options there. You can run your straps through the platform itself. You can utilize your crossbars. You can even get those load stops that fit in there and tighten down if you want extra anchor points for those straps. Some quick measurements. One is going to be the distance from the top of our roof to the bottom of the platform and we have it at four and three quarter inches. Although that also depends on the height of your crossbar itself. So the height this now adds to the top of our roof is going to be about six and three quarter inches. Still enough where you'll be able to fit through drive throughs Now as for length, with it being 58 inches long, you can see we have plenty of space before we hit the hatch. So even if you have your longer cargo on top of the platform rack, you have plenty of clearance towards the back. Although if you go towards the front, this is gonna sit almost right where your flush rails end. So it's not gonna be in the view of your window, but if you have things hanging over the platform rack, you may have to think about if you look up, will you also see your cargo? 
Now to install your Pioneer platform rack, it may be a little bit involved with actually getting the rack together, but installing it onto your crossbars is super simple. The perks to that is if you have crossbars on different vehicles, you can switch your platform rack around them and then get them in place, which is definitely an upside compared to when you have it permanently mounted with a backbone system. Two options for installing your Pioneer roof rack once you have it onto your crossbars. So one is going to be you can slide a T-bolt in through the crossbars T-track and then pop that into place or you can use the clamp around method which is what I'm going to be doing today. You have this metal plate with a nut on the inside, just pop that rubber piece on top. You're going to have two head bolts, so those are going to go from the top of your clamp, then you're going to have spring washer and a flat washer as well that will go into your head bolts. With a spring washer and flat washer on your bolt, just drop that down around the crossbar. Then you're gonna bring your clamp from underneath and just thread those bolts onto that clamp before you tighten it down completely. Then you're going to use the included hex tool or allen key to tighten this down. Now once you have all four clamps tightened down, whether you're using the T-Track system or the clamp around system, that's it for the install. You're ready to load this up and hit the road. And that right there was a look at our Rhino Rack Universal Pioneer platform for crossbars that's 58 inches long and 47 inches wide right here on our 2016 Chevrolet Traverse. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.